What the hell is that? All characters in this game are over the age of 18. No, they're not. It's a lie. Are they? High school. That's the biggest lie I've ever seen. This game is not suitable, suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety and depression may not have a positive experience playing this game. Would you like to review detailed content warnings which contain spoilers? Photography prohibited. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you have noted the game's age rating in your region and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Hey, what do you mean you agree? Why'd you just click on that? You agree? I agree to that. I don't agree to that. How about that? Loki, Loki! Alright, should we do an intro or no? Hello everybody, it's Baggy here, and guess what, I'm playing Doki Doki again. I, I played this game in January 2018, and uh, I uh, enjoyed the game, even though I was scared the shit of it because of the psychological horror. That's it, because I'm paranoid. <laughs> you can't- you got me! And now, there's a Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, and uh, it just came out, and now Where's I'm playing it. Plus? I don't see the plus. I don't know where the plus is. And, yeah, and, I've, plus? And, and if you haven't noticed already, I've got Epic Cake here. What, what do you want our name to be? Nascos. Nascos, yeah, that's right. Click OK. okay. Alright, let's go. The question mark? <laughs> the triple question mark? What is this, League? Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. Sayori? Sayori? I don't know how to say it. I stop. I mean, how do you? How would? What do you think? Oriana. Shut up. Say, say, Shut up. say, Ori. That girl is Sayori, my neighborhood and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because we've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk unless you always catch up to me. Hold on a second, I need to lower the volume a little bit. Ah, ah, I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Oh, this is me. It's so weird seeing Nascos there. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Yeah, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's me, yeah. Nascos. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students Whoa. making their daily commute. Yeah, some of these words are, you know, they get they get hard to pronounce. English major. By the way, Nascos, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm not really. I'm really not interested in joining any club. That's clubs. a good choice. Honest to God, I hated school clubs. Waste of time, an extra hour in school. Have you lost your mind? I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. That's did a lie. I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on by the average while spending my free time on games and anime. No, no comment on that. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn, learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. The hell's Why is she assuming things? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much so, so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The drama queen. Phew. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over the before I know it. Clean school. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. 
<laughs> Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. That's a that's a club, really. That is, there's no such thing. Hello, Sayori. Hello. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Heh! <laughs> you lost your mind, girl. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. That's what I thought! <laughs> yeah, meanie! Sayori is vice president of the literature club. And honestly, it does sound pretty boring. I'm vice president. Being in a gang. Being in a gang, you do whatever is necessary. Literature club does sound pretty boring, honestly. I thought I was ever aware of that she had any interest in literature. Literature. I didn't even, I didn't even know there was a literature club in school. I don't think we had these clubs in our high school or in middle school. I think there, there is such thing as a literature club, but there's no way anyone's in the literature club. It's uh, not a thing. Not, no way. Not many people, I would assume. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Because it's my choice. The only reason, my choice. Good choice. Why, why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Wow. Wow. And that wow. Tsuki made cupcakes and everything. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. This is the type of clown that would buy Majaya's thinking they're going to win the game. I hate people like this. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Just a cupcake. I ain't making no promises. And thus, today marks the day I, I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Wow. Everyone! The new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Yeah, I, I glance around the room. Oh, this is you. Oh, shit. <clears throat> well, how would she even sound like? <clears throat> she would have like- Welcome to the literature club. <laughs> it's a pleasure <laughs> meeting she, you. She would have like a, I would assume like There's a- There's no way this tall ass bitch has a, 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 a non deep voice. Look at her. She would, yeah, she would have like a deep voice. Try sounding like, try sounding like this. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Mel what, what? Try something like that. That it just it just suits her style. Yeah, that, that, that's how I remember it. That's where my style. Try doing that uh, voice. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. There you go. Sayora always says nice things about you. Seriously, you bought a boy? Way to Whoa, kill the atmosphere. What ails you? <laughs> Oh, this is you oh, again. She, I don't know how she'd sound like. She probably has like a high pitch voice. Oh, yeah, she does. She does have a high pitch. Ah, Mascos, what a surprise. We actually know how she sounds like. So, yeah. I can't fucking make a voice like that. It's not possible. Well, don't break you. Just try going as high as you can. Um, let me burst my vocal cords. Let me give it a try. Who's girl three? Is it Monica? Uh, Monica? Monica, Monica, yeah. Welcome to the club. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I actually agree. You what are you looking wish. at? What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki? <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. The small figure makes makes her look like a first year student. How are these characters over 18? It just said they're over 18, and she's not. She's no, no way. How is she over 18? This is not possible. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. 
she always says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Datsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yui, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that! Yui, who appears comparably more, com comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like uh, Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Nazcos. Monica smiles sweetly. We didn't know each other, well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was pop. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, Jack beautiful, athletic, trade. jack of all trades, throughout everything, going for her. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me s so genuinely feels a little. Y you too, Monica. What is he like? Pressured? Damn. Awkward ass boy. Oh, wait, that's us. Uh oh. Come on, get some confidence in you. Come, sit down, Nazcos. We've made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make a cup of tea as well? Well, she says some. Some. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As they already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow! <laughs> Natsuki, Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal what a dozen the, white uh, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Little cats. It's raw. It's raw. It's raw. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate uh, were used to make ears. So cute! I had, I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki! Hehe, <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, <laughs> I follow. It's delicious! It's a good fucking food. <laughs> Say Sayori talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Stop. Why you gotta make every? Why is everything gonna be an Einstein project with you? You're just eating a just cupcake. Don't need to like make a. Get to find an angle. Gotta find the best angle. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Yeah, I, I thought you technically did. Uh, so you always said... Well, maybe. But not for, you know, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. Right. She carefully places a teacup in front of each other, each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? This, oh, oh wait, I thought she was talking, what? No, it's me. Now it's you. Oh, now she's talking. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? What the what? Not really, I don't drink tea. You drink tea? Hell no. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Whoa. <laughs> That's not true. Insulted, oh, Yuri, looks Yuri looks away. I meant, you know, dot dot dot. I believe you. you well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy a good cup of tea. Nothing like a good cup of tea to enjoy a good book. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, you made... What made you consider the literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. 
Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... Okay, don't be embarrassed. Damn, confident. We'll, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As, pre as president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make club... But fuck! The club fun and exciting for everybody. For everyone, whatever. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make it something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, I'm fulfilling that dream. Oh. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then, I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. In the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you are both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we could all grow this club before we graduate. That's a damn lie. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. And we're all over 18, too. So we're not really graduating. Yeah. We're, we all uh, failed and we're still in high school. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of, of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Nazcos, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Ma manga? Man, why, why would you say that? I don't know. I actually don't know how to say manga. Manga? Manga, manga, mango. I'll be sure to look. How, I'll, I'll be sure to look up how to say that after, because I don't want to keep saying it wrong. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. That took his head. Suddenly, pokes up. Ooh. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, 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 not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without. I, I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind these are amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep physiological elements usually immerse me as well. Did you just say physiological? Physiological. It's psychological. Psychological. Uh, I can't I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. Psychological, psychological. elements. Just like this game. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw out, I mean, throw you in a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. It's just like this game. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. Yeah, it was Doki Doki Literature Club. I desperately... <laughs> <laughs> I desperately <laughs> grasp something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Damn. Really? I wouldn't I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. 
I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is, so, is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. It's only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Wow. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right! You usually like to write cute about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine, damn. Hehe, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. She always slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, oh wait, <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exponing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experiences too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Dot dot dot. I guess that's the same for Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. Question mark? Question, <laughs> question mark, hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's go home and write a poem of our own, of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll share all of them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. Dot dot Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bonds of the club. Isn't that right? Nascos? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Oh, eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come out or come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. You want repayment? I never said I would join this club. What an. What an a hole. What an a hole. How could you say that to these four beautiful girls? Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, uh, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare, stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, 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 I'm sorry, I thought... Hmph, <laughs> <Nass girls. laughs> What an embarrassment. You all... I mean, if I was in, uh, Nazco's shoes right now, I, I don't know what I would do. I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh-ho, poggers! One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! So he wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! really did scare me for a moment. You really just came for the cupcakes, I, I would be super pissed. Then, that makes it official! Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Oh, hell no. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting. So we could all share! I had trouble doing my homework. Club work? I don't know if I'd be able Club to do work. it. Club work? You've lost your mind. Monica looks over at me some mo once more. Nascos, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. 
Y yeah, I'm just kind of awkwardly, uh, I don't know what to do here. She just keeps looking at me cutely. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean, <coughs> Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Natsuki, well, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's Hell right. No. Siri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Oh, we got a dollar for the corner store, girl. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. What is this clean neighborhood? Oh my god. Look at this. Have you ever seen a neighborhood this clean? I walk outside my house and all the grass is grown. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Oh ho! I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Yeah, I'm sure it will, dude. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Let's put those fingers to use, boy. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Yes, because that's how you that's how you get girlfriends now these days. You write poems to them. I pull out a Dr. Seuss book and start referencing. Yeah. Wow wow wow. Are there auto saves now? I don't think there are auto saves in the original game. There you go. Wow, imagine Save. having to replay some of this. What the hell is this? I have to freaking turn on Audacity and shit to... What the hell? I open the game again, and then this happens. I, I closed the game to check my audio, I opened it, and now some kind of... Again? And some kind of computer thing opened. Logging in. And the... What? what? In what the, the... What? What the hell? What is this? This... This is <laughs> different. Hold on. I came back because I wanted to lower the volume, but it looks like this is the menu. Wait. It looks like this is clown clown stuff. What is this? D DLC. What, what the? What? 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 You what? You what? Did I, did I not notice that before? Loki, Loki. I, that, that, that wasn't there last time. How did I go back? You went into like the mainframe or something. I don't know what you did. You hacked it to like the Pentagon. Wait, I don't even know what happened. I got an achievement for saying no. Wait, what? I thought you could get achievement. Really screwed the pooch back there. Can I can I go back to that menu? I don't know what, what I just saw, but okay, you were you were like in the mainframe or something. I don't even I don't even know what I just saw. I was like in a computer. It looked pretty interesting. Can I, can I go back to it? What if I just exit? Whoa! What the? It goes back here. I thought I I thought I would quit the game. <laughs> it's really uh. Really interesting picture. Side stories. Side stories. Is this where the newer content is? I mean, I think we'll play the main game again just to get a reminder. Jeez. Secrets, background, sketches, promo. Why does this look so, like, intense? Characters folded. Internal. What in the. What in oh! The, I, oh, I know why. Because the console ports. You know, console players, they need, they need some compromises. They need a. Yeah. He needed to do this for the console what? ports. I understand now. Oh, oh, so now it's like a part of the game. It's not like something you, I mean, you could probably still do it in the game files, but. Well, it doesn't hit as it doesn't, hard. It doesn't, it doesn't hit as, as hard, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do for a console port. Should have deleted the game files in the console. Delete your save. I wonder if these saves <laughs> file, these saves matter. In my save folder? Yeah. In the world? I wonder if it's like this uh, on desktop too. This is like in-game right here. Mail? No mail. You got mail. What the what? The side stories? Oh man, not again! Oh no. No. What the? What's that new art? What the what the what the Hmm. Maybe I'll listen to them later. These do sound nice though. What type of PC is this? What is this? Like 
window this isn't even windows ain't no penguin it ain't linux it ain't mac then what is it it's meta enterprise uh metaverse 